How about the time the cops and fire trucks came because somebody, I think, called saying this guy's going to jump to his death? Yeah, Taiwan. I want to throw out a couple moments and just get what comes to mind. The first being the Costco gap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Things scary, bro. Super scary. I had heard some stories about like people trying to do it and were not able to do it. And um, right then and there, that was a challenge for me. It was like, well, if no one else can do it, like maybe I'm the exception. I don't know why I thought that way, but I was like, maybe it's me. And then I showed up there and I knew I could do it. I instantly knew I could do it. And it ended up being one of the biggest kickflips um, in skateboarding to this day, you know? But rolling away from that, that's why I'm a skateboarder. Because that feeling is undescribable. It's euphoria. How about the time the cops and fire trucks came because somebody, I think, called saying this guy's going to jump to his death? Yeah, Taiwan. <clears throat> Taiwan on a recent trip. Um, just working on a Red Bull project. And I told our tour guide out there, where's a spot nobody skates that's like your spot? like a spot that you think would be the next level. He's like, oh, I've taken a lot of people here. No one even, no one even looks at it. I'm like, oh, let me see it. It was like a 10 foot vertical drop into about a 25 foot transition, but it's at the bottom of this underpass. So it's the, the ground looks so far away and I was in a trance pretty much. That's why the people call it's cause I like, I must have looked crazy, I don't know. <laughs> but I was standing up there and I had my board and I like just jumped down and just started walking up the center aisle and heard all these like sirens coming and <laughs> cop cars and cops on bikes and uh, ambulance, fire trucks. And they just surrounded me, dude. Like surrounded me and I can't understand what they're talking about. And I have like eight people holding onto me, like grabbing me and trying to talk to me and trying to take me to the ambulance. And uh, <laughs> there was one guy that came up on a moped, just a civilian. He's like, hey, I'm sorry. You know, I'm kind of broken English. I'm sorry, I thought you were gonna kill yourself. I'm like, bro, with eight cameramen and like a whole crew right here, like no one stopped. Come on, man, like put two two together. But in Taiwan, skating like that is not really seen, yeah. you know, and it, it's not really a thing. Um, so I totally understand. And then they told us like, do not ever come back. You will go to jail. I was like, there's no way I'm going back to the United States without doing this. And my filmer and my photographer could tell that like this thing was eating me alive. Like it was eating me alive. And they're like, hey, let's just go with a small crew and let's go back. I said, absolutely. I jumped up on the wall, set my board down, took a deep breath and then just sent it. And rolled away. How do you feel about skating in the Olympics? <laughs> Dude, I think it's cool, man. Like, if a kid that's never skateboarded is watching the Olympics and sees skateboarding and is like, what? Skateboarding's in the Olympics and decides to become a skateboarder? If only one kid does that, then it's a success. Dude, there's gonna be millions of kids that become like savage skateboarders because of the Olympics. I know before COVID, when it was gonna be the 2020 yeah. games, you were gonna have kind of an ambassador um, yeah. t type role. What do you think happens as pertains to you? I don't know what's gonna happen, you know? I don't know what's gonna happen. I know there's a few contests coming up um, that will be, you know, pretty much at like the eight month mark of my recovery on my knee mm -hmm. that like could get me to the Olympics, but I won't be ready, you know? I won't be ready and I can't in good faith like put that much stress and I can't put that on my knee. I can't put it on my mental, honestly. Um, so competing in the Olympics, if it happens this year, it's not gonna happen for me. Yeah. Other than that, would I like to commentate it? For sure. Would I like to be involved somehow? Absolutely. I think it's a huge opportunity. I think it's awesome too that we're finally in the Olympics. Someone's gonna win a gold medal for skateboarding at the Olympics. Yeah. I think it's rad.